Hello guys, Lynn here, and welcome back to another Weapons Guide video. In this one, we are going over 30 new legendary iconic weapons and how to get them in Phantom Liberty. Many of these are missable, nearly all in fact, but the new black market vendor in Dogtown will give you most of these back if you miss them for credits. However, there are some, like the ones found in the game's endings, which are missable, plus a few other ones as well. And so we're going to jump straight into it and look at all the ones you find during the game's side missions and gigs, and you need to make the right choices during these missions in order to get the weapons. Our first iconic weapon is called Cheetah. You get this if you decide to kill Angie during the mission No Easy Way Out. Volkadav is found in a box in the police station during the mission waiting for Dodger. There's also a second weapon you get during this mission called Roscoe, and that's if you decide to kill Dodger at the end of the mission. Oguo. Defeat the robot RMK2 in the mission Treating Symptoms. During the mission, shot by both sides, you can get two different unique iconic weapons in this one. You can either get Risk It and you kill Dante and he will drop this weapon, or you can get Old Reliable and you can let Dante kill Bree. However, if you want to, you can kill both of them and pick up both. To get Pizdets, kill Boris Rebikov during the mission a Spy in the Jungle. To get Baby Boomer, you will also get a unique tank top during the mission Dazed and Confused. Tell Lina in your conversation at the end of the mission to convince Tool he is a clone, and when you do, this will result in her giving you the Baby Boomer weapon as a reward. If you want to, you can instead read Tool's letter, which is in his cell in the basement of the building you're in, and then you can get Lina to read the letter to Tool, and you will get Lina's unique tank top instead as a reward. To get Ambition, rescue Hassan during Prototype into the Scraper. He will then later contact you in the story to give you the weapon. Now we are even, it seems. Mancinella, I'm pretty sure this one is missable as it doesn't show up at the Black Market Vendor, and to get this you have to start Run This Town for Mr. Hands but it must be done before starting the game's final mission, immediately after you do the Firestarter mission. I won't go into too many details, but once you've done Firestarter, you will then talk to Mr. Hands and he will give you the weapon at the start of the mission when you go see him. Hercules 3AX is found in the armory in the mission's Roads to Redemption, close to where you disarm the bomb. Crime Stopper, you get this gun from a suitcase in the DA's VIP suite on the upper floor of Heavy Hearts during the Heaviest of Hearts side gig. Now this one will not show up at the black market vendor for some reason. It doesn't seem to let you back into the DA's suite either if you miss it in the mission, so it could just be bugged, so make sure to pick this up when you're here. Gris Gris, you get this in Slider's Hideout. It requires a key card from the Wellness Center in order to get this though, and you get that during the mission Treating Symptoms, but you have to make sure you pick it up during the quest as you can't return to the Wellness Center once you've done the quest. There's also another potential piece of loot you can get from the Slider's Hideout 
during the treating symptoms quest and that is if you kill the guy at the end he has a key card for the hideout unfortunately i didn't pick this up i don't have a save to go back and check so make sure you kill this guy and you take the key card with you as well because there could be a potential other room in the hideout where you can get some loot maybe even a unique weapon but it's unlikely To get Carmen, you need to convince Paco to leave in the side quest Balls to the Wall. Nothing here. Last thing I got left from Hansen. Lame to dump it. Got a new life thanks to you. Good to give gifts to friends, eh? You're kidding, right? Scabs? Of all the things you could have been, you choose to be trash. To get Deserter during the quest The Man Who Killed Jason Foreman, you have to put a gun to Rinder's head and he will give you a stash key in order to save his life. Better choose your next words carefully. Listen to me, just listen! I'm expired goods, a walking corpse. Can't decommission me more than this. Tell him Leon Rinder's dead and... So those are all the weapons you can get from the side missions and gigs. We're going to move on to areas of increased criminal activity, airdrops, and just found around the game world. First, you can get these three weapons found randomly in airdrops. You will just have to keep going to the airdrops and checking what's inside. Most of the time, it's cyberware or weapon mods, but eventually you will get either the Alibi, Taigan, or Leica found inside. Next, we have three weapons found at the game's three increased criminal activity areas. You get Raiju, Sparky, and Ago. You will find them in the final room of the criminal activity area. The Ago is actually dropped by the boss who has the key to the final area, called Ayo Zarin. So if you go to all three of these areas, you will get them easily enough. The QBX Mod 2, this is a gun found at the bottom of a big circular pool of water just across the street from the Golden Pacific Fast Travel. The Cut of Mag X Mod 2 is a really cool weapon. This one is found in Terra Cognita in South Dogtown, close to the increased criminal activity. Go to this area here with the spaceship statue and you just walk behind it and you will find the weapon inside of a head. Next guys, we have four related to the main story. First, Hawk, you will find this in your apartment in Dogtown. After Reed goes to your apartment and talks to Myers, they will leave and you can get the weapon during the quest, Lucretia, my reflection. Her Majesty is given by Alex at the start of the main mission, Get Together. Is your iron? Sure is. Resetsu is a reward during the main mission, You Know My Name. It's a really cool sniper rifle. The NDI Osprey, you get this from the case on the left in the armory of Alex's safe house during the Birds with Broken Wings mission. Lastly guys, we have five weapons all tied to the game's endings. You can't get all of these in one playthrough because you can only do one ending. You will have to choose which of the weapons you prefer. So if you do Reed's ending, you can get the Bald Eagle, the Fang, and the Wild Dog 
if you defeat Kurt Hansen. If you decide to go for Songbird's ending or Somi's ending, you can get Murphy's Law. This is actually just dropped by one of Kurt Hansen's random men during the Firestarter mission when you're trying to escape the stadium. So make sure you don't miss this as it could be very easy to miss. Pariah, you get this from Reed at the end of Songbird's quest if you fulfill her wishes. So guys, there we have it. 30 unique legendary iconic weapons you will find in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Many of them are missable, many of them can be then bought at the black market vendor if you miss them, but the ones you missed at the endings, the Kurt Hansen ones, the Murphy's Law pariah, they will all be missable if you don't get them, but of course you can only get the one from the ending that you choose, so make sure to pick wisely. Lastly, there is a secret black wall weapon called Erebus, or you can get a secret cyberware. And Black Wall is the same thing that's corrupting Songbird, and it's kind of what the whole Phantom Liberty is about. You can also get infected by using this, and it's a very cool weapon or cyberware, and I'm going to make its own video on it because it deserves one, and it's very much missable. So make sure to keep an eye out on how to get that secret weapon. Guys, like and subscribe for more guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.